Opening prayer, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, you are the generous giver, you are the generous giver of all things, of all things, through every single thing, through every single thing, we are touched, we are touched with your loving presence, with your loving presence, your love, your love is everlasting, is everlasting, healing, healing. And restoring us. And restoring us. Your love. Your love. Is ever faithful. Is ever faithful. Giving courage. Giving courage. And strength. And strength. Your gracious love. Your gracious love. Carries us. Carries us. Lightening. Lightening. The burdens of our life. The burdens of our life. You are our life. You are our life. The breath. The breath of our being. Of our being. Amen. Amen. The theme of our adoration today is peace. We hear in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28 to 29, where Jesus says to us, Come to me, all you who work hard and who carry heavy burdens, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest. As we delve upon this theme today, let us listen to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verse 38 to 42. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he entered a village and a woman called Martha welcomed him to her house. She had a sister named Mary, who sat down at the Lord's feet to listen to his words. Martha, meanwhile, was busy with all the serving she had to do. 
And at last she said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the serving alone? Tell her to help me. But the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, you worry and are troubled about many things, whereas only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken away from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel reading we have just heard, Jesus is speaking to us about restructuring our lives. We cannot continue to live our lives the same way as we are living to this day. If we continue with this, our present way of living our lives, then we would continue to be burdened, to be anxious, to be worried, and to be judgmental. All these negative emotions and attitudes will continue to haunt us and even destroy us of our inner peace. When Jesus and his disciples were at Bethany, at the house of Lazarus, whom Jesus has raised him from the dead, who had two sisters, Martha and Mary. Martha was busy like any modern day housewife had so much of work to do, all the sorts of household work of serving, preparing breakfast, preparing for supper, attending to, the, to her eminent guest of Jesus and his disciples, while Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening to him. Martha felt that her sister was just wasting the time doing nothing or helping her out at the household work and went and complained about Mary to Jesus and also asked Jesus to tell Mary to extend a helping hand to her in the household task. But Jesus instead replied that Mary has made the right choice by sitting at his feet and listening to him and told Martha it will not be taken away from Mary. Mary, Martha instead you are burdened with anxieties, troubles, and of many things which are unimportant. I think. Was Martha doing the work which was unnecessary or useless? Yes, Martha was a responsible woman of the house and was busy doing work which was right and necessary. But Martha was burdened, troubled and affected and would soon get tired by unnecessary emotions, by useless, negative, wrong, bad emotions and attitudes. 
For that was the reason Jesus was telling Martha that Mary had made the right choice and it will not be taken of her. What is it that tires us? Does hard work tires anyone? No, hard physical labor does not tire anyone. It is the mental stress that tires us. The negative emotion bundled up in our hearts, it is that unwanted emotions that tires us. When we are faced with betrayals, when we are troubled, angry or upset, when we are wronged by someone and want to take revenge, when we meet with accidents, when we meet with success or failures, we need to sit at the feet of Jesus and wait in prayer and listen to his voice and to hear what he is saying to us in that particular situation. We are responsible people, aren't we? As we are responsible fathers, mothers, husbands, wives, students, people belonging to all walks of life and professions and vocations. We cannot be lazy and lethargic. We have much to do, and while being busy doing all that, that is necessary, we need to sit into the presence of the Lord and feel his presence. We will be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, which will help us to shed all our resentments, hatred, we will be able to shed our egos. We will be able to understand the will of God in all our successes and failures and fill with His divine peace. Jesus offers a promise in John 15, 4. Abide in me as I abide in you. If you are close to me, I will be close to you. I will be there for you. An invitation and a promise to remain close to Jesus, to wait and listen to his voice, and thus filled with this peace which no one else in the world can give us. Let us pause for silent reflection now. Children 
come into my life with your laughter and your song. When will I become like them? Help me, Lord, to sing along. Living waters flow on. Sweep away my pain. Bring your healing to my heart. Help me love once again. In this first week of November, the Church also celebrated the Feast of All Souls and All Saints. The basis of our common union, the basis of our communion with the dead, is the belief in the communion of saints. A bond of love unites not all the faithful on earth, a similar bond unites the faithful year below with all those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. The one thing we carry with us from time to eternity is our Christian love. This love alone abides, and it is this love which provides the link, the golden chain which binds together the living and the dead. Prayer intercessions. Because God loves us, because He has given us His only Son, Jesus, Jesus has bestowed His Spirit to us. We believe that we pass through the gates of death in the kingdom of eternal life. There our death awaits us. Our response after in intercession would be, Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Eternal rest. rest grant unto them, O Lord. We look not to the things which are seen, but to the things that are unseen. Our response? Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. We know that if the earthly tent we dwell is destroyed, we have a building from God, not made by hands, eternal in heaven. Response, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Here we groan and long to put on our heavenly dwelling. Our response, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. While still on earth, we sigh with anxiety, hoping that what is mortal be swallowed up by life. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Jesus died for all, that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Our response? Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. We remember our death, our relatives and friends, all those who sleep in the peace of Christ, and of God, our response? Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Kindly repeat this prayer. O Jesus, o Jesus who, died for all, who died for all, we recommend to you, we recommend to you all, those dead, all those dead whose faith is known to you. Whose faith is known to you. Purify them, purify them from all stain from all stain and unite us more closely and unite us more closely to them to them by uniting us more closely to yourself by uniting us more closely to yourself you who lives and reigns you who lives and reigns with the father with the father and the holy spirit and the holy spirit one god one god forever and ever forever and ever amen amen we'll take the benediction hymn
Prayers for Bombay and India. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses. As, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. Lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us, us from, from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, of God pray, pray for us, us in us now, us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, now and, and ever shall be, be world without end. Amen. Amen. O God's will is that all people be saved and come to the knowledge of thy truth. Send, we beseech thee, laborers into thy harvest. Grant them grace to speak thy word, trusting in thee. May thy message be heard by all, and joyfully accepted, as all nations may know thee, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Thy Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with thee, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, Amen. Our Lady Patroness of India, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Thomas Apostle of India, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Francis Xavier and Saint Gonzalo Garcia, patrons of the Archdiocese, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus, patroness of the missions, pray, pray for, for us. us. We shall now sing the hymn for benediction. <laughs> O God, who in the wonderful sacrament has left us a, unto us a memorial of your passion, grant we beseech you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that the taste of the fruit of your redemption may ever be within us, who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The divine praises, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, name. blessed Bless be his Jesus holy Christ. name, blessed, blessed be Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ to God and true man, blessed be Jesus Christ to God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most sacred heart, 
Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and His, in his saints. Pray in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, first Friday of the month. Lord Jesus, on the first Friday of the month, a day specially dedicated to honor your Sacred Heart symbol of your boundless love for us. We pledge ourselves anew to your service. Touch us always to live our lives centered on you. In all our endeavors, joys and successes, trials and tribulations, may, may, may we have a firm faith in you, our source of life and light. Day by day grant us the grace to know you better, love you more intensely and follow you more closely. Lord, bless each and every one of us present before you, our families and relatives, our friends and neighbors. You always care for our needs. May we then strive to do your will, however difficult it may be at times, and may we find true and lasting peace. Let our devotion to your sacred heart open our hearts to the struggles and sufferings of people around us wherever they are. Give us that sensitivity of heart and mind which you may respond to us so lovingly, to persons and situations in your time, as messengers of your peace. Help us to heal this broken world, that your united kingdom of love, justice, and peace becomes a reality in our times. All this we ask of you, our Lord and Savior, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be Creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Break into song at the deeds of the Lord, the wonders he has done in every age. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, Lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your you. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Time and again, we have heard a beautiful saying, Honesty is the best policy. And therefore, we are called to be an honest, and not like dishonest steward in today's gospel. When we are honest, God can shower His blessings on each and every one of us. And that is the purpose of life. So let God shower His blessing on each and every one of us, 
so that we may be able to carry on the works that God has entrusted to each and every one of us. Let us therefore remain silent for some times and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask of Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you a right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippines. My brothers, be united in the following my rule of life. Take as your model everybody who is already doing this and study them as you. Used to study us, I have told you often, and I repeat it today with tears. There are many who are behaving as the enemies of cross of Christ. They are distinct to be lost. They make foods into their God, and they are produced of something they ought to think shameful. The things they think important are earthly things for us. Our homeland is in heaven, and from heaven comes the Savior we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ. And He will transfigure these richest bodies of us into copies of His glorious body. He will do that by the same power with which He can seduce the whole universe. So then, my brothers and dear friends, do not give way but remain faithful in the Lord. I miss you very much, dear friends. You are my joy and my crown. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to the God's house. All together, I rejoiced when I heard I them saying, heard Let them us say, go let to us the go God's, God's house. house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Response I rejoiced, I rejoiced when, when I, I heard them, them saying, say, let, let us go, go to, to the God's, God's house. house. Jerusalem is built as a city strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Response, I rejoice, I rejoice when, when I heard them saying, saying let, let us go, go to God's house. house. For Israel's law, it is there to praise the Lord's name. They were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. Response, I, I rejoice, rejoice when, when I heard them saying, let us go, go to God's, God's house. house. Gospel acclamation, kindly rise. Alleluia, Alleluia, God in Christ, which is reconciling the world to himself. And he has entrusted to us the news that they are reconciled. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory be, be to you, you O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, there was a rich man, and he had a steward who was denounced to him for being wasteful with his property. He called for the man and said, What is this I hear about you? Draw me up an account of your stewardship, because you are not to be my steward any longer. Then the steward said to himself, 
now that my master is taking the stewardship from me. What am I to do? Dick, I am not strong enough. Go begging, I should be too ashamed. Yes, I know what I will do to make sure that when I am dismissed from office, there will be some to welcome me in their homes. Then he called his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? One hundred measures of oil was the reply. The steward said, Here, take your bond, sit down, straight away, and write fifty. To another he said, And you, sir, how much do you owe? One hundred measures of wheat was the reply. The steward said, Here, take your bond and write eighty. The master praised the dishonest steward for his astuteness, for the children of this world are more astute in dealing with their own kind than are the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may be accepted to our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands and praise and glory of His name for our good and for the good of all His holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It's truly right and just to return our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity. And even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray joined with theirs in one chorus of exult and praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, I pray, by sending down your spirit upon the like the dewfall, so that it may be conference the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willing to his passion, he took bread. 
and giving thanks, broke it, gave disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer in Lord the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to mere presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake is the body and blood of Christ when we gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in mercy, welcome them with the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Jesus, spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages. We may merit to be called his to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A deceivous command and from a divine teaching we did to say Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins and the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God you, take you take away the sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
that you are my disciples if you have love for one another by this shall all know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another a new commandment I give all to you that you love one another as I have loved you that you love one another as I have loved you. My Spiritual Communion O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me your truly own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through the spiritual communion. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, enbright me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds hide me, never let me be separated from thee, from the evil one protect me. At the hour of my death call me and bid me to come to thee, that with thy saints and angels I may praise you for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass ended. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. A prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Great indeed are your works, O Lord. O Lord. Now and evermore. Now and evermore. Great your works, O Lord, o Lord now, and evermore. now and evermore. The universe, night and day, tells of all your wonders. Oh, oh, oh. You are alive and alive. And alive. We shall praise you always. We shall praise you always. Great indeed are your works, O Lord. Now and evermore. Great 
with the Iowa works.